this video we are going to see the priority based scheduling in operating system priority scheduling is a method of scheduling process that is based on priority in this algorithm the scheduler selects the task to work as per the priority the process with higher priority should be carried out first whereas process with same priority are executed in fcfs manner the priority depends upon memory requ requirements time requirements etc there are two types of priority scheduling they are preemptive and non preemptive approaches in preemptive approach if a newer process arrives having a pri higher priority than the currently running process then the currently running process is preempted then uh, the uh, process with the higher priority will be executed next is the non preemptive priority scheduling which is uh, where uh, if a new process arrives with a higher priority than the currently running process the incoming process is put only put at the head of the ready queue the currently running process is not preempted so uh, which means that after the execution of the current process it will be processed so it is put at the head of the ready queue this is the non preemptive approach and this the priority scheduling of uh, preemptive approach is uh, explained here using uh, the following example here we have the process p1 to p5 we are having uh, its priority a uh, burst time and its arrival time now we can start the uh, scheduling of the process that is how the process are executed and in which uh, order it's executed we can see at time uh, 0 the process p1 and p2 arrives p1 has higher priority than p2 that is uh, lower prior, uh, number uh, low, lower number indicates higher priority so the execution begins with process p1 and at time t1 uh, 1 2 3 units no new process arrive so the uh, process uh, p1 will be uh, will be executing while p2 will be in the waiting queue uh, so this is given in this diagram till 3 uh, only p1 is executing because uh, its burst time is 4 so uh, it will be executing and at and, and at time 4 p1 has finished its execution so p2 starts its execution and at time 5 no new process arrives so we can continue with uh, p2 and at time 6 p3 arrives but p, uh, p3 has higher priority compared to p, p2 so uh, p2 is preempted at time 6 and then p3 begins its execution then at time 7 no new process arrives so can continue with p3 p2 is in the waiting queue and at time 8 and 9 8 9 10 no new process arrives so p3 will be executing since p3 has burst time of 7 it will be executing and this is given in the diagram and then uh, at time 11 uh, process p4 arrives which has a priority 4 that is p3 has higher priority so it continues its execution that is p4 has a priority of uh, 3 uh, so compared to that uh, p3 has higher priority so it, it continues its execution and at time uh, 12 p5 arrives p3 has higher uh, 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 higher priority than p5 so it continues its execution and at time thir uh, 13 p3 will complete its execution of uh, its burst time 7 so uh, at that time uh, p2 p4 and p5 will be in the ready queue P2 and P5 have equal priority. So uh, P2 uh, arrival time of P2 is before P5. So P2 starts execution. This is given this diagram. Um, we can call it as uh, Gantt chart. Then uh, at 
time uh, T14, uh, the process P2 uh, pro, uh, has finished its execution and that P4 and P5 will be in the waiting state and P5 has the higher priority so it starts execution and at time 15 P5 continues its execution and at uh, time 16 P5 will finish its execution and uh, P4 mm -hmm. is the only process that is left out so it starts execution and at time 20 P5 will be completing its execution and uh, no process will be um, uh, in the uh, queue so everything will be completed this is the completed GAN chart which uh, represents the execution of uh, the order of execution of processes that is uh, till uh, P1 will execute uh, complete its execution at 4 and P2 uh, in, the, in between it preempts so uh, it will execute uh, it will complete its execution at only at 14 time 14 and then uh, P3 will complete its execution at uh, 13 and uh, P4 at 20 and P5 at 16. This, this is the completed GAN chart and uh, it, the, it is the time to uh, calculate the uh, assessing measures of the scheduling algorithm which are the turnaround time, waiting time and uh, the turnaround time is uh, calculated from this formula. Based on the uh, completion time from the GAN chart, we can find the turnaround time of the process and also we can, uh, from the turnaround time, we can find the waiting time and we can, at last we have calculated the average waiting time as uh, 3.6. This is the uh, uh, calculation part of this uh, uh, priority based scheduling. Then moving to the advantages on, uh, of priority scheduling. The process are executed on the basis of priority. So higher priority process uh, does not need to wait for, uh, for long time which saves time. This method uh, provides a good me mechanism where the relative importance of each process can be precisely defined. That is, the priority can be precisely defined. Uh, moving to the disadvantages, uh, if the higher priority uh, process takes a lot of time, CPU time, then the lower priority process may starve. This is one of the disadvantage and also uh, this algorithm may leave some low, uh, low priority process waiting indefinitely. Subscribe to my channel if you feel contented.